Hello, it's Claire Leroy here from The Little Design Corner and welcome back to my channel where I share videos for designers, decorators and home renovators who are looking to create beautiful homes and also businesses that they love to work in as well. And what I want to do today is come back to you with some more tips for using SketchUp. I have a SketchUp course for beginners. It is based all around interior design and actually what we're using here to just work through our tips today is the model that we use and learn to model up in the SketchUp course. And what I want to do today is just share some tips for using the move and the rotate tools in SketchUp. So we'll go through some of the ways that these work, some of the things that people do wrong and just give you a few different tips and tricks about using this move tool and the rotate tool. If you are new to my channel and these sorts of things are helpful to you, you, then please do consider subscribing to my channel and just hit that notification bell to be notified when my new videos go live. Otherwise, let's jump into today's tips about the move and the rotate tool in SketchUp. Okay, so let's first take our first tip and let's look at why and how to fix this bar stool here that is sort of floating in midair. Now, this happens a lot in SketchUp and it's something that does confuse a lot of people when they're first getting started. And often if you bring something in from the 3D warehouse, sometimes it won't land exactly where you want it and people aren't quite sure how to make that um, get fixed up and land on the floor. Now, there's a few ways of doing this. And so let's go through a couple of options. Now, the first thing is you wanna actually select the object that you want to move. So just use your select tool and select on that bar stool and one very quick way of actually moving this into position is just to grab your move tool up here and you can do a few different things. One of the things if you have SketchUp 2020 and beyond is that you can actually just use the um, corner that you want to align it with and you can just pick up that corner and place it down on the floor. So it says on facing group and you can let go and that will place it down. So that's one very quick and easy way. You can use the um, different corners and your move tool to actually position that exactly where you might want it. Say you wanted to butt it up right against this joinery here. You can use that um, corner in the uh, with that sort of x-ray vision to just place that exactly where you want it. So that is a very quick and easy way of doing it. I'll just undo that and we'll put it back in the air because another way that you can do the same sort of thing, especially if you don't have SketchUp 2020 and so you don't have this sort of um, x-ray vision of the intersection points where you can land them straight where you want to, you can use something like a, um, a flat surface and use that to actually reposition. So you can see over here, I'm on the wall with that V groove over here and I can just come down on my blue axis on that wall because I know that wall is on the blue axis and I can position that on the blue axis that way. It's tricky to do that when you are in mid space because SketchUp isn't quite sure what you want to um, do. So as you can see, if I try and sort of think that I'm about to reposition this stool uh, on the blue axis by sort of positioning my select tool and then moving it sort of down from there, you can see it goes all over the place. So people do get very confused by that. So the tip there is to just use a flat surface that is on the blue axis and take your item down on that. So another surface would have been this cabinet. So we can bring that back up on the blue axis and take it back down onto the floor. So that's another option for doing the same thing as using these sort of pointers as well. So that is the first tip for how to, uh, how to use your move tool. Okay, let's now come into a top view and I'm just gonna switch to trying to actually rotate this table and chairs. So if I select it, that's the one that we're going to try and move. Now, another thing that lots of people do is they actually try and move and rotate things when they are in perspective view like this. And that can be really tricky because um, it can sort of make SketchUp behave a little bit strangely. So if you are wanting to do something like rotating this table, say we wanted it to be lengthways in this room, instead of having your, um, window in perspective I would change it camera view sorry in perspective I'd change it to parallel projection which takes us to that sort of 2d view and then what you can do is grab your rotate tool and what you can do is use a flat surface like this floor to just simply 
activate your rotate tool and then change the view and the rotation of your table. You can then pick that up with your uh, move tool and you can position that exactly where you might want it on the floor. And if we orbit, then you'll see that that has all been repositioned. It's still sitting on the floor and everything is fine. So that's a little tip there. If you are trying to move things to actually just come to a uh, parallel projection view rather than your perspective view to do those rotations. Okay, another thing that people tend to do wrong when they are trying to rotate things, especially if they have something that's got sort of a curved surface like this sofa, is often I see people will try and select the sofa, they'll then pick up their rotate tool and they'll try and rotate the what they think is the, um, the sofa on its sort of side and rotate it and they'll start to rotate and they'll see that their sofa starts to do something a little bit like that. And the reason for that is that what has happened is that basically Basically, I'll just undo that is that basically what has happened is that you will have picked up the rotate tool on one of these curved surfaces and you're actually rotating on that curve if that makes sense so instead what you want to do is we'll undo that again and we'll go into our top view we're in parallel projection and this is why I recommend using, especially for curved things and for sofas and things that do have curves, I recommend using a flat surface like the floor to rotate on because that means that SketchUp will know that you just want to rotate the object on the flat surface and you won't end up sort of rotating it in space like you saw when we were rotating it off the curve. So come off the object for accuracy and rotate the object on the flat surface so that it stays on that uh, on the floor for you and then you can just again use the move tool to reposition the exact position where you want it to be located uh, and that will help you to be more accurate with your rotate and your moving of that sort of slightly more complicated object with some curves in it. Okay, another thing that happens quite a lot is that people might bring things in from the 3D warehouse and this is meant to be a toilet. And what happens is the toilet is sort of being placed where we can see a little bit of it, but it looks like it's sitting under the floor and people aren't quite sure how to fix that little problem up. So if we orbit, and have a look under this model, you can see the toilet is sort of sitting under the model like that. So the way to fix this again, there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. First of all, you could select it and do what we were doing before, which is to actually pick up your move tool and you can move on the blue axis. Now the model is behaving a little bit strangely because we are trying to look at it in a perspective view and we are in parallel projection. So if you do ever find that your model does that, you can always just switch to, um, to perspective, oh, sorry to yeah to perspective view to make that fix up and get that sort of weirdness going away and what we want to do is again just use a flat surface on the blue axis and we can lift that toilet up and place it on the floor as you can see so that's one option if I undo that and put that back under the floor another way that you can do a similar sort of thing is to come to a front view and we want to be in parallel projection and just find where that toilet is as you can see it's sitting under the model now and we're sort of in a uh, in a side elevation I guess view of this model and again I can just use the blue axis to lift up this is exactly the same process as the other way but it's sort of a little bit more accurate because we can just see the toilet disappearing and it will be sitting on the floor now so I've used the blue axis to pull it up and you can now see that it's inside and on the floor in that bathroom. So if you do find you have furniture or objects from the 3D warehouse that are appearing under what your floor should be, then that will be probably what's causing it. And there's a couple of ways to fix it up for you. Okay, and then this rug is another example of the same sort of thing with the same sort of solution. As you can see, the rug has sort of come in. We'll change the view here to perspective. As you can see, the rug here is sort of hovering in midair. It's not being placed down on the floor and people often get confused with this and can't understand how to fix it. So again, it's to do with your move tool and there's a couple of ways. The way I would do it if I have the 2020 software, which I do, is you can just pick up the corner of your rug and you can just position that back down onto the floor easily by just placing it down on the face in the group. So that's the easiest way of doing it. Or you can again just use the wall or some other surface that is on the blue axis to position the rug down until you've got it in the spot where you want it. Be careful it doesn't shift off that axis because you will move it off the position where you want it and you can just place it down and then it will be down on the floor. So that again 
is the same concept but another very typical problem that I see beginner students having when they're starting to work with their model. Okay, so that is some tips about how to use the rotate and the move tools in SketchUp. And as I said, I do have an online course for beginners that teaches you how to use SketchUp for interior design purposes. So this is a great course for interior designers or decorators who want to improve the business, their businesses and the way that they're working with clients. But it's also a course that heaps of home renovators have taken so they can create up the models of their own homes for renovation purposes or just for fun often as well. So if that course is of of interest to you I will put a link to information about the course in the description below so please check that out otherwise I will be back next week with some more tips about design about SketchUp about running a design business and I hope to see you back in that video if you would like to subscribe to my channel and make sure you're notified when my next video goes live please do hit the subscribe button and also that notification bell so you'll be notified when my next video is up otherwise have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.